Our Sunday School lesson for this week is based on Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. Have you ever wanted something so badly that you did not give up? In this story, a Canaanite woman, whose name we don't know, was determined that Jesus could make her daughter well. And she did not give up until Jesus helped her. Jesus left Galilee and traveled with his friends to Canaan. He hoped to get some rest, but people found him there too and needed his help. A woman shouted at Jesus, Lord, listen to me. Something terrible is happening to my daughter. She's very sick. You can make her better. Jesus did not say anything. Jesus' friends said, that woman is so loud. She's really bothering us. Get rid of her. But Jesus did not send her away. He said to the woman, I was sent to help the Israelite people. They are like lost sheep. The woman was not an Israelite, yet she would not leave. She got down on her knees before Jesus. Lord, please help my daughter, she begged. It is not right for me to help you, Jesus said. I cannot give the food of children to dogs. The woman cried, dogs need food too. They eat the crumbs that fall from people's table. Jesus was amazed that this Canaanite woman trusted him. You did not give up when I said no. You may have what you wish. At that moment, the woman's daughter was made well. The mother did not give up. This is a great story to help see that Jesus is both human and divine. He wasn't sure about the Canaanite woman. She was very different from him, a Gentile, not a Jew. But he changed his mind about her and saw her faith and healed her daughter. Seeing differences in people and learning how to accept and welcome others is such an important spiritual practice. With God's help, we can let our light shine by growing in our abilities to see the good hearts in others. In this story, Jesus grew and learned. He listened to the woman and was moved by her pleas. Her words and actions helped Jesus to broaden his understanding of who he had been sent to help. The woman in this story shows persistence, an unwillingness to give up. This week, tell a member of your family about a time that you used persistence to succeed in reaching a goal. Then use the link attached to read about Ruby Bridges, who showed lots of bravery and persistence. Now let's close with the movement prayer that we tried last week. Follow along with Susanna as she demonstrates the movements for this prayer. Oh God, you are above, you are below, you are inside us and all around us. I worship you, I give myself to you, I love you with all that I am, amen. All right, everyone, see you next time.